This is one of the big football temples in the Bundesliga in Germany, the Royal Blues of Schalke, and this is the new boss, Felix Maggot, and now he is the big boss. He is doing just about everything at the moment, even the financial side. This team here, the Royal Blues of Schalke, have their problems as far as the financial side of things are concerned. We will read more in the newspapers. They were playing Freiburg, the team here in red. And they got off to a great start, Freiburg, the team that came up as Division Two champions last season with this man, Mr. Robin Dutt. The man that took over from Volker Finke, who was 16 years the big boss at Freiburg. We had to wait until the 17th minute for the first chance for Schalke. Good, solid, hard work by Rafinha and Farfan, and that was Kevin Karani. The ex-German international has already scored two goals in his first three appearances, albeit both on day one in that 2-1 win against Nuremberg. Good cross from Farfan, Jefferson Farfan. 21 minutes and Freiburg with the free kick from Banovic. It was a back header from Pavel Kermas, the 29 year old Croatian. The goalkeeper Manuel Neuer had to be there. Three minutes later, Schalke replied. Long poke forward from Bordon. Kermas with the pass almost back to Westermann. Heiko Westermann, one of the players who has been nominated for the German World Cup qualifiers. And then just over the half-hour mark, Kevin Kurani here in a bit of a battle with Tommy Beckman, the Dane. The referee allowed play to continue, and that was Jaeger with the goal of opportunity. The Frenchman who has had so many opportunities recently to open up the scoring for Freiburg here yet again, missing the golden chance. Played every game so far, Jonathan Jaeger. Just five minutes before the half-time whistle, this was Char. Lovely back heel from Abdezadki, and Char came into the box to finish it off to make it 1-0 for the visiting team. Du Richa. The man from South Korea gave Neuer not a chance in the world. The South Korean finally coming back into the squad for South Korea as well for some World Cup qualifiers after three years away from home. That one he brought home all the way. Aided and abetted by Abdezadki. Yassine Abdezadki, the French-Moroccan. Fine finish too. Worth watching from every single angle. So 1 0 then for the visitors. Only one of the 20 fixtures between Schalke and Freiburg has ended goalless. So Schalke had to react and they did so. Just a minute later after the goal, Rafinha with a cross, Karani with a header, and a golden opportunity for Jefferson Farfan. But he was beaten by Johannes Flum. 21 year old well he has seen better times in Gelsenkirchen two minutes into the second half Rafinha Kiamas with a half clearance Alti and Top and Kurani working well together three changes in the second half from coach Felix Maggot bringing on Alti and Top Levan Kobiashvili and Levan Kenya it was that man again Kurani he was looking for goal number three. 66 minutes played. Idrisu was the man who gone to the header. The header from Bastian's free kick. Freiburg looking very sharp indeed, but they had to beware three minutes after that chance. Farfan working exceedingly well. And Vesterman with a diving header. Where was Kevin Karani? Maybe that was Felix Maggot's thought going through his head too. Heiko Westermann, not exactly renowned for being the best header in the world. And the opportunity was gone. 84, Schalke coming forward with Kelby Ashvili, with Altin Top, two of the new boys. And then we had Levan Kenya. Crossbar. Bastians, the man that got in the way of the second bite of the cherry with Farfan, but Kedia so unlucky indeed, the Georgian international. 
Four minutes remaining. Farfan with a free kick. And that was way over the top. Freiburg putting in a tremendous performance here today against Schalke after last week's 5-0 thrashing by Leverkusen. They could have made it 2-0. After the pass from Abdezadki, it was Idrisu, but the legs just wouldn't take him all the way through. Great pass from Abdezadki, who really was working exceedingly well with his forward. That's it, all three points, the first three points for Robin Dutz and Freiburg here today, the goal scorer. Do reach out. They beat Schalke away from home at the Veltins Arena by one goal to nil. And there was another bitter taste at the end of the day, too. The other Brazilian, not Bordon, is called Rafinha, and that might have been his last game. He will be leaving, they said, for Bayern Munich on Monday.